Any other things? Great, thanks you. Very well, thanks. Um, the performance against Italy was a little bit rusty, there was plenty of room for improvement there. This is your last game against a tier one nation for the World Cup. How close to 100% performance do you need to be on Saturday? Is there still room for kind of tapering up, or would you like to be kind of peak where you can come? Well, the day that we ever get 100% performance, I'm going to retire because we, we, we've, uh, we've cracked it. I don't think we'd ever get to that. Um, there's lessons learned from, from every game, and one of the lessons from the Italy game was that um, you know, we, we did pretty well as far as territory possession and, and creating opportunities, but how clinical we was on the back of that um, is something that you need to be good at in a World Cup. Points matter, bonus points matter, etc. You know, so tidying that up is something that um, we're aware of. Um, having said that, uh, you know this is the the second game, but at the same time, it's the first game for for, for um, a lot of a lot of this group. No excuses. It's a test match at home against England, um, and a special one at that, being uh, Keith Earls' hundredth game. So. It's, it's an occasion where we uh, we want to be at our best because I feel that the last time that we, we, we played against England here was a big match, but I didn't feel that we was, so taking a step forward in that regard as well is pretty important for us. Just on to keep Earls and being his uh, 100th test game this weekend, how does that affect the preparation within the week? Oh, it, it, it gives us all a... Uh, but it's a, 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 such a, a, a privilege to, to, for us all within camp to be involved in such a special week for, for Keith and his family, you know. He is um, a member of the squad that is so well respected throughout. Why? Because he's, he's a selfless person that just keeps giving to others and there's no, there's no better man deserving of his 100 cap here at the Aviva um, than, 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 than Keith against, against England. So I just hope, you know, the, the fans that are coming along with us and our performance make it a special day for himself. I just want to ask one for me, uh, Ross Burns, Terence. Uh, four years ago, he had a tough day out against England in a, in a warm up match. Uh, just give an idea of how much he's grown as a player in the last four years. Oh yeah, look, you know, there's, there's, there's too much made of that, 100%. You know, the, the, there's a reason why you fly half as a pod at the office. It's probably because the team didn't, didn't function and other major parts. I rem and remember our line-out service uh, that day wasn't, wasn't uh, red hot for him, which puts the 10 behind the eight ball anyway. Um, but of course, Ross would have learned from those experiences. I'm, I'm sure with the experience that he's had over the last four years, he is delighted to get this opportunity to play. Uh, this weekend. Thanks. Cheers. Andy, overall, how do you feel the Portugal campaign and this week's preparations? Uh, great, great. I suppose everyone says that about every camp that they have, you know, otherwise it would be a waste of time, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. But um, no, it was a tremendous week. We, uh, we worked unbelievably hard. I mean, we went at that stage for the, for the heat stress, obviously, um, to, to to better not just our, our, our physical skills but our mental skills as well and it was tough jeez it was hot mm -hmm. it was uh, 39 on saturday when we, we did our last session and the lads were feeling it so coming back to dublin this week in fact it was pretty warm yesterday training you know we're feeling a million dollars because of it yeah the likes of roy Keane, lad Warren, they're all in around the camp were they into give words of wisdom uh, no, um, just though as, as supporters, like uh, a lot of the families were as well, out there supporting their team. Um, I suppose they're jumping along with the excitement of the World Cup and uh, they wanted to show the face to, to, to the lads, to show that they're there to support them along the way. And there was five players that were let go earlier in the week, back to their provinces. For you as head coach, how do you find moments like that? It must be an easy thing to do, obviously it has to be done, but what are those conversations like? Well, you, you just have to be honest and, and, and give the feedback for, for, the, for, the, for the days that you've seen people compete against one another, you know, and it's tough to make a decision because the competition for places is something that we've grown massively over the last few years. But there's something nice that you, you, you see that competition going in, uh, 
against each other every single day in, in training and you know as we know you know with Jeremy coming in this week as well 43 players doesn't go into 33 so it's my job to do the right thing by the team. And just finally from me just Keith Earl as we've already mentioned him and making his 100 test cap how would you describe your relationship with Keith? He's often talked about having a, a good relationship with you. Um, probably similar to all the relationships that I've got with the rest of the players just an honest one you know honest one and I think if you're honest that people can uh, trust what you're what you're saying to them, you know, there's no agendas, etc. And therefore, if there's a bit of honesty and a bit of trust, there tends to be a little bit of respect. And I'd say that's across the board with all the players, you know. And uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're all delighted to see Keith get his opportunities, uh, his big day at the weekend. Thanks. Cheers. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick. Andy, uh, just, you mentioned that England match uh, in the Six Nations. It was kind of a funny enough performance. Did you identify what, what happened that day? Maybe was it that Ireland were not used to being such heavy favourites? Even in the crowd, it was a strange sense. Did you identify in the review of that match? Was obviously no, I, I, that England, England brought uh, a, a lot of chaos to, to um, uh, our performance, you know, and probably to those as well. You know, the, the line speed was was uh, in, in your face, etc. The set piece is always going to be um, very hard to come up against, etc. And yeah, I, th I thought that we wasn't calm enough and, and clin clinical enough to, to be able to play our game. There was opportunities again. And, you know, the, the challenge for us then, even though you were going for a gra grand slam, was to take this opportunity to, to, to use it to, to, to grow as a team of, in a sense that, you know, we, we wanted to be at our best when it mattered most to us, you know. So, uh, how calm could we be there? And I thought we was a little bit jittery from time to time, you know. We settled down eventually um, and, and got over the line, but we take our learnings from all that. And this the main topic of conversation this week. Uh, where we have decided to appeal the, the panel's decision on the England rugby camp. What's your thoughts on that? What's my thoughts on it? I mean, yeah, on the, does it really matter? In terms of player safety, uh, are we very big on, on player safety and that? Of course we are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So just any thoughts or comments on, on the decision? Well, whatever I say anyway is probably flawed anyway, because I know what you're talking about, you know. And when, when you're talking about uh, somebody's son and you're asking them the question, it's always going to be flawed there. So what does that really matter, you know? Um, probably, probably, you know, I don't, I don't normally say too much because of, because of that type of reason, you know, about about my son, um, but what I probably would say at this moment in time that the circus that's gone in around all of this is absolutely disgusting, in my opinion, disgusting. And I suppose um, those people that have loved the, 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 the time in the sun get a few more days to, to keep going at that. Okay, uh, Nick and then Marie, and we'll close off this part of the section. Uh, Andy, you're giving um, Kieran Brendan a, a start. What, what did yeah. you see in, in that kind of conversation you had with him this week? I just see improvement all the time. You know, he, he came to he came to New Zealand with us uh, very raw. Um, came back uh, into Connacht, and uh, to be fair, he's always been a standout performer week in week out for Connacht. Uh, just because of his fight, his want, his energy, he's he's a he's a warrior of a type of a, a player. You know, he's fit tough uh, but there's all sorts of uh, different parts of his game that he's need to tidy up and over the last eight weeks we've we've seen that in in abundance you know so I'm excited to see him play at the weekend did, did you talk about those the, the parts of the game just his his um, his decision making you know he, he was a type of player that's that's a hundred percent sometimes when you go a hundred percent you struggle to see things his feeling around the game um, has improved, not just decision making with ball in hand, which has made his skill level um, a lot better, but also his decision making defensively, etc. You know, and he's always been one to try and chase absolutely everything, whether it be a ball on the ground. And his discipline has been something that we've we've needed to talk about from time to time. But his all round game is getting more balanced. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's not going to be perfect at the weekend, but I'm excited to see him play. Thanks. Murray, final question, uh, Andy, I think last week, I myself included, were thinking Gavin Coons might get a, a look in at some of these games. 
what does he need to do more of maybe to uh, you know what Murray like you know feedback that I have with, with players that, that would I'd love that to, to remain from my side uh, personal anyway you know um, but there's been feedback all the, all the way through I would say more so for all those five players um, the competition the competition is, is fierce you know and um, again it's been it's, it's been great to see and, and Gav's fought out and Gav has 100% improved as well over these last eight weeks in, 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 in all sorts of areas, including his skill level, etc. You know, but uh, you know, it's a fiercely um, uh, for all type of type of position for us at this moment in time. And unfortunately, for now, he, he misses out like a, like the other four.